Hi Capricorn, this is your December forecast. If you would like a private reading with me, hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, or if you want to purchase a Christmas voucher, use the link below. Capricorn, you are having endings all month. You're looking at what you're saying goodbye to. You might have more uh, gains coming in, and there might be some expenses going out. Now, in terms of your career, study, and finance, you are off. You are off work. You are off uh, on holidays. Um, you're on the move. Now you do have success there and what you are, are about to take action on uh, midway through December right through for the next year or two is your ambition, your status and your title. This is about how the world sees you. This is more publicity. This is more audience. This is about your goals and your life purpose, about how you're going to get there. And you are able to take action there. So for some of you, you might be leaving a job and starting a new one because there are endings this month. You might find that there are secrets coming out that you weren't aware of, which changes the way that you live. And also, um, you might find that you're keeping a bit of a low profile during the month of December. Um, but you are, you do have a feather in your cap, so maybe you're keeping things close to your chest. Maybe you're saving up so you can go on a holiday. Because this person here has a bit of luxury. There is, uh, you know, a land in the background, so you could be going away on travel. So you're saving up for that. You're keeping these things close to your chest. Maybe you're looking for more advancement. So... You know, before you can say goodbye to the job or the role that you're in, uh, you're looking out to see what options there are, you know, and not telling anyone about it. This is also about success, whether this be success in, uh, you know, what it is that you're actually doing, so tests, exam studies, whether this be, um, you know, a project that you're working on or in your career, you're getting that success. Uh, savings as well. If this is about a promotion, you're getting that success. And if this is about launching something, now you're able to put that into um, into action. You're able to take that because things have been slow. There's been cancellations. There's been stop starts, U-turns, reversals. There has been uh, delays in your plans. And now this month, you're finally uh, getting to that point. You're finally, uh, so you could be changing your role. So I've done it. I'm getting a promotion. So I'm saying goodbye to that. Also saying goodbye to some debts as well. This card says that you're looking further afield and broadening, broadening your horizon. So again, we're saying goodbye and we're looking out for more. At home, things are really relaxed. Again, we're looking at travel. So maybe you're saving up for travel. Uh, you're off on your travels. This is also about expansion, you know, around my home. My home is full of love right now. And there's a lot of growth on these bushes here. So, you know, we're working financially. We're growing on our money. So maybe this new job, this next tax bracket, this uh, further afield, the horizons that you're looking at, not only is it something you can sink your teeth in, which you're passionate about, but also uh, it brings more into, so you're more relaxed, it's bringing more abundance into the home, uh, things like that. Now also, your fundamental um, you know, self-belief systems, something about that is going to give you faith this month. And you're working through any psychological things this month. So maybe things, you know, answers. Uh, like I said, there could be some secrets coming out. And those are um, giving you those answers. Now, don't forget, Capricorn, you are on the other side of the Cancer Capricorn eclipses. So starting last year, uh, perhaps June or July, all of this year and all of next year, it's about you and Cancer. Now, your life will not look the same by the time you get to January 21. And this is your karma, which is wrapping things up, propelling you into the path you should be. And there is disruption there. There is change there. There can be heartache there. There can be uh, a loss there. And so, uh, you know, this could be where there's some goodbyes as well. But this is, you know, what is going to happen. This is your karma. This is where it's going to be. And you are working towards your ambition and your status and your title. You are looking at uh, even your mum or parents. So again, we're looking at that self-belief system and where things there are coming to an end. Yourself, you're feeling more energy. With your health, you have a one, which is your face, which is your teeth, your head, upper lip, upper jaw, cerebellum, and the brain. Now, 
this is saying that you have what you think above is below so maybe this is an attitude thing maybe stress is gone maybe emotional things are gone you're putting you've got all of what you need to be able to get that so maybe you've been saving up for it and now you're able to do that so maybe you've got some Botox uh, maybe you've got some um, veneers uh, or any of that area you've put money into that major arcana card so this is a major change this is something you've been saving up maybe that's why you're having a low profile maybe you're taking time off because you can afford it now to go and get this done and you're keeping it to yourself when it comes to love some of you emotionally have been a bit um, a bit drowning in your emotions so if you'd had a bad breakup or you're in a relationship now where your emotions are all over the place it could be that your mind is you're paranoid you're overthinking things you're over emotional it's drawing you so far out you can't see reality and you need to bring yourself back to shore so that you are able to uh, focus on the love that you have right now is this something for you if you're single am I ready am I emotionally ready to be in a relationship because this card says you've got to um, prioritize you you've got to concentrate on your emotions here there is a Virgo around this uh, Capricorn um, well Virgo Taurus Capricorn but I really feel like um, well you're a Capricorn I really feel like there's another Virgo uh, Taurus Capricorn this is a water sign Pisces Scorpio Cancer um, but yeah that is there so we're looking at our emotions and we're going through them um, am I over emotional you're doing virtue messages from the angels is also, if this is an ending, you might find that you uh, suddenly uh, got a title to do with your love as well. So you've got a loved one that has passed, possibly a sibling or a child who is giving you the message that you're emotionally ready. Again, we're talking about emotions here. You are ready. Any secrets that come out, any self-belief systems that come out, this is an emotional time. Your life will not be the same. So as you're emotionally going through this, your loved one's telling you that the angels are here helping you cope with any changes. Again, we're looking at children, a child that's passed. Uh, maybe you're emotional because you're in motherhood. Maybe you're missing a child uh, in a relationship because a child is on your mind whether this be a child that you have your own or another child in your life they might need an extra bit of attention uh, this month and Shanti says uh, that life is going to be smoother again we're looking at karma there's fresh life here there's peace and there's family pride so be kind to you and those you love and from Jedi side Jake may the force be with you